What's going on everyone? Today I've got a pair of Nike Air Max 1 HTM IDs. Some people call them me Nike Air Max 1 T ID because the T's for Tinker Hatfield and whatnot. Um, I made three pairs. This is the second unboxing video. The other one's already up so check that out if you haven't done so already. Um, There's one thing I didn't mention in my first video, which I only realised after I had made the video, is that the box is slightly different from the other Nike ID boxes. For example, that's your standard Nike ID box with the white swoosh and the Nike ID.com. And here, it's more of a... what is that? Is it silver? Yeah, it's like silver, reflective and whatnot. Um, swoosh, it doesn't say Nike.com there, it just says Nike, there you go, you can see that it all kind of glimmer and whatnot, Nike ID there, as opposed to just having a swoosh on the older box, and again Nike ID instead of a swoosh there, um, is there anything else, does it even say my Nike IDs, no, it just says that made by you on this, whereas here it will say like my, my Nike IDs. Hashtag my Nike IDs. So, um, yeah, let's just check these out. You've got this little card here, HTM Air Max. Let me just move this other box out of the way because I'm done with that. Um, this colorway, I wanted to use black, white, grey and yellow. And this is the outcome. Yeah, it's alright. <laughs> yeah, it's, on, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Look how dirty my table is, man. Like, yeah, that's, that's real life happening on a table right there. Let me just get this closed and whatnot and get this shoe up here. First and foremost, um,. Yeah, you know what, that is actually a nice shoe. It came out well. Sometimes the colour comes out differently on screen, as opposed to real life, especially like with this translucent thing going on. <laughs> Can't even find the right word, but yeah. Because that looks, I think, a lot more greyer like on screen than it does in person. But yeah, it looks all right. It looks, it looks all right still. Decent enough. I must have a quick little spin. Okay, so let's just get into the options that I used. For the underlay, I used a solid black. It's, yeah, it's basically mesh. It's like a thin mesh. The quarter is a clear translucent. The mudguard is just a white all the way across, but then it's a little, it looks a little bit, well, almost like grey because it overlaps with the with the underlay. Can you just see right there? Hold up. Is it even focusing? Well, no, I can't even tell, man. But yeah, so yeah, that's a nice. It just looks, you know, kind of nice. It, it works. It works. Then the swoosh is a tall yellow. Um, because I use the translucent option, it makes this heel bit translucent. And which shows the full length of the swoosh. And I, I made three pairs. I think I only used, well, not I think, I know I only used the translucent option once because I wanted to have the swoosh showing on all of them, but sometimes they just look better without the translucent. So I had to, like, you know, just cut the swoosh off, whatever, whatever, like how it normally is. But I definitely wanted to have at least one pair that had, like, a long swoosh. So this was the pair. The. The laces are also a solid tall yellow, you know, of course with the lace hole because those options are linked together. The midsole is a Lunaron, a Lunasole black with white speckles. I'm a big fan now of my Lunasoles. They've just grown on me and I just think it just gives a, a shoe like an extra little snap, you know, little twist. So, yeah. And then the 
airbag is also a tall yellow because I wanted just to have you know like yellow and black and white and grey and whatnot on the shoe the um, the outsole is again a solid tall yellow because of the Lunaron midsole the black shows otherwise if it was an OG midsole it would have just been solid yellow all the way across so I like I prefer the midsole to look like this as opposed to just solid like one colour from heel to toe. Uh, the ID on the back is also that tall yellow. I normally put IDs on the back of my shoes like not even like 9 times out of 10 like 9.9 .9 times out of 10 I put an ID on the back but on this one I just wanted to utilise like this option. They had a, like a Nike script, which is nice as well. That would have been my second choice. Then they have like a, a bold Nike. No, is it is it bold? Yeah, I think it's called bold. I don't know. But then I wasn't really feeling it. I don't know. I just don't like how it looks. So then they got the original Nike Air and Finn. Then the other Nike Air with a swoosh, but it's like a bit to the side. Makes sense. But yeah, this is the one I like the most. So I went with Air. Obviously, the other's the same. It's cool. I think it works. Yeah, so, oh yeah, sorry, the lining is um, white, as I didn't mention that. Oh yeah, and of course, um, because of, these are like HTMs, hold up, look, there you go, you've got your HTM Air Max with like Tinker Hatfield printed signature, <laughs> and then you got like this little thing going on there. So, yeah, I am pleased with issues, like, I like them a lot. My inspiration for the shoe, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, was, you know what, let me just get that other box again. Even though this isn't the right box for the shoes I'm about to show you, but was these, basically just the colours, like, I need a wider picture, don't I? Hold up. So you've got all the same sort of colours going on. You've got your blacks and your whites and your grey and your yellow. So yeah, both of these are IDs obviously. And yeah, that's that's why I chose those four colours. So it just they work well in my opinion. Um Yeah, what else is there to say about these? Oh yeah, of course like this little bit here is gonna be white as well because um why? Because, I don't know, one of the options you select, whoever makes that white, I don't know what it was. This um, this option for Nike ID didn't last long, it was there for like two months, it was for like Air Max Day. It appeared shortly before Air Max Day, I mean, it stayed there for, I think, around two months, give or take, I and mean, then it was gone. And there were other options, like, there's like a gold leather option, metallic gold, metallic silver, that was there before this option. And it's still there now, after this option's been removed. So this has come and gone, and the other option's still there. So that just tells you like how short this option was up for. So if you did manage to get a pair, then, you know, good for you, whatnot. Wow, I never even clocked this. Look at that. I don't know if that's good or bad. Hmm. I don't even know if I like that or not. Hmm. I'll have to have a little ponder. About that. <laughs> like seriously, is that supposed to be like that? Is that supposed to be grey like up on the white? Because like it's there for the stitching there. Or even if you call that stitching, and then it just continues up there. Look at that. I don't know, it looks like a Frankenstein monster man. I don't know. But that's mine, man. Who cares? Real people with real problems. Um oh yeah, sorry, the on the tongue, the tongue is all black with a black tab and it says Nike Air Max with a logo in white. Um, there was an option for the Air Max Day and print, like a geometric pattern on the on the toe box. And um, I didn't want to use it on this shoe because it just didn't work. Hold up, let me just grab my other pair, let me just stretch. Like, that's the pattern I'm chatting about, like, 
So I used that white pattern on this and I used the other grey pattern on my other shoe that I haven't unboxed yet. But, you know I mean, it just it wouldn't work on like, on this shoe because it would have just thrown it off. Anyway, I'm just like nattering on now. Um, yeah, if you've got any questions, just ask. Let me know what you think of these. Let me know what you would have done differently if you had made these. What would you change about these shoes? I think, yeah, they are banging. Like, at first, when I opened I was like, yeah, it's alright. But I get picky after a while. Not even after a while, like after 10 minutes of video. I'm like, yeah, yeah, this is banging. But yeah, no, I like these a lot. Yeah, these are good. Um, yeah, this don't happen by accident, man. Honestly, I put so much time in these shoes. You don't understand. Like, I put so much time. I play around with it so much. Like, I threw some red in it. I think I had, like, a red outsole, a red bubble, and... What was it? I think, like, maybe red... Like, on the back or something, I don't know. For logos, whatever, like... I just play around. I think it's red laces, sorry. Just so it was, like, red, yellow, black, white, and grey. Then it was this, and then I, I put red, instead of a yellow, I put red everywhere as well. And I mean, I just, I just play around so, 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 so much, like, while you're not, like, living your life and enjoying your life, so I'm just sitting in front, in front of the screen, just sitting here, like, just saying, hmm, tall, tall yellow, yeah, yeah, university red, okay, yeah, yeah, that's, that's my life. But it came out, it came out sick, so it's all good. Uh, please check out my Instagram, it's footwear in the fridge. My website is www.footwearinthefridge.com um, Please rate, comment and subscribe And Yeah, like just like, Thanks for watching, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, just Yeah, I'm done I'm done uh, Listen man, take care of yourselves, alright? Uh, see you later, bye